to number nine then from the 2015 advanced tyre. Just a little, it's not really a proof, just a demonstration of these combinations. Well, the actual definition of that is n plus 2. How many combinations are there of 3 from n plus 2 objects? It'll be n plus 2 times n plus 1 times just n divided by 3 factorial. You could put the longer one down if you like, but the longer one's just a contrivance to have a more concise formula where you could use factorial. In other words, by filling in the rest of this, so you can write it as a factorial, and then having that corresponding part underneath, which would then cancel it out as a factorial of this thing with this part removed, you know, minus that. So it just means this. And similar with that, it will be n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 over 3 factorial. Maybe I should say this, left-hand side equals that. So that's the definition of the factorial. Now, they've got the common denominator of 3 factorial. I'll just jump in with 6. They've got a common factor of n, so I'll take that out. So I'm left with n plus 2 times n plus 1 minus n minus 1 times n minus 2. So that's n times, now just what's this lot? That's n squared plus 2 and 1 is 3n plus 1 minus, I'll have to keep this in a bracket just now, that's n squared but minus 3n plus 2. That was a plus 2. 1 times 2 is 2. Handy thing to remember. All over 6. So it's n times, now n squared minus n squared disappears. 3, take away negative 3 is 6n. And 2, take away 2, disappears. So you're just left with the 6's cancel, you're just left with n squared, and that's the right-hand side. So, job done. Which in Latin, of course, is QED. Not many people know that.